Hello and welcome to the divisional round of the Carolina Panthers Connected Franchise Mode. Today we'll be taking on a team that has beaten us twice in the regular season, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, here's the thing. The first meeting was very close. All in all, final score wasn't very close, but it was very tight for most of the game. Second meeting, not so much, but we are here to change that. And the place that if we make it to the Super Bowl, we'll be coming back here. However, worst, we got to get past, well, the team that has beaten us twice. And now we are starting here in Tampa Bay. Here is a run by Christian McCaffrey. He's going to bounce it to the outside. He's actually got a bit of space, and he's going to get roughly 20 yards there to start the game here against a division rival. Here's McCaffrey there trying to run up the middle. That time stuffed a quite bit better than last time. Here's second and eight, and there's Derek Carr going down. This is going to bring up a third and 17. Carr looking. Carr fires to a wide open DJ Moore. And I don't need to tell you the second half of the season he's been having is now here's a run with McCaffrey, who's been having an elite postseason as we saw last week. Can he keep it up this week? Well, already up to 48 yards on the opening drive. Now here's McCaffrey again. He's going to get hit for about another two yard carry. Now it's a fake to the fullback. Now to McCaffrey. Jukes inside and he's in. And we are up early here in Tampa Bay as the extra point is good from Joey Sly. 7-0 Carolina on top trying to keep the momentum going and get to that conference championship game as now here is going to be a kickoff return from Antonio Brown and he's going to be leveled there by Trey Boston. Now here's Ronald Jones there. He is tackled nicely by Gross Matos. Now we're going to see a little wildcat action. Here's Ronald Jones and he is actually going to be pretty much stuffed there, only gained about three yards. This is third down and five. Instant sack from Yatur Gross Matos getting in there to sack Tom Brady. And now that's going to be punted back to the Carolina Panthers as McCaffrey breaks a tackle on the punt return. He's going to spin inside, get right around the 42-yard line. Here's McCaffrey looking to throw, and it works again to DJ Moore, who is in for the touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with another dime this season. I believe that's his third touchdown pass of the year. I believe all 50 plus yards, maybe like 40 plus, I'm not exactly sure. But Christian McCaffrey, what a play is now. Here's going deep to Antonio Brown, and wow, what a throw by Tom Brady. Now here's Brady looking. Brady gonna go underneath to Gronk. Gronk there, gonna make a man miss down to about the nine yard line. Here's going to be the last play of the first quarter and good pressure by this Carolina Panther defensive line. So now this is going to bring up second and goal next quarter and that one is incomplete. Again, good pressure by the D-line. Can we make it three straight plays? Brady looking. Yes, we can. The man who has been having one of the best seasons in this league, Brian Burns there in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, just going to settle for three and take the three there. Just you know, keeping them in the game, getting their first points on the board. But I am very happy with how we are playing. If we can keep playing like this for the full 60 minutes, we will be in that conference championship game. I am telling you that. Is now here is a man in motion. It's going to be a handoff to McCaffrey, who gets a little bit stuck behind a lineman there. He's still going to get about three yards. Is now here it is second and eight. That's going to be to the tight end Ian Thomas there for about, well, actually you're going to say a gain of nothing. Brings up a third down and seven. Throwing! Not a good throw! by Derek Carr, and that is intercepted. He actually kind of had DJ Moore, but he overshot him. Is now going deep is Mike Evans. I don't know how he caught that, but he did. And that is going to bring Tampa Bay within four now. After a hot 14-0 start, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have fought right back into this game. And now here's the kick return from Cannon as he's going to go down. And now this drive from the Panthers just got a whole lot more important. As now here's Carr looking, and that's Shaquille Barrett getting to the quarterback there is now it's gonna be a little bit of a run for McCaffrey and like I said he has been having an amazing postseason as you can see 70 yards in the first half what a start to this game as that is intercepted and not only that it looks like it is returned for six and just like that 
the Carolina Panthers are down by three just before halftime. However, we still got two minutes and 50 seconds to go and get on, t on the board and either tie this game or take the lead. Hopefully, it's the second one taking the lead. Is now McCaffrey's getting stuffed there by the man who just got the interception return for a touchdown. Here's Carr going deep to a wide open Curtis Samuel, who is gone. Touchdown, Curtis Samuel, and the Carolina Panthers are back up now by four points as now that was a huge play in this game as if we don't score on that drive, not only that, the Bucks could have came down and, well, they could have scored again and making this game like almost sealing it there because they get ball start second half. So here's a deep shot going deep to Godwin, intercepted by Corn Elder. Elder now on the return is going to go down right around the 47-yard line. Now McCaffrey actually going to run it this time or hand it off to the other running back, Mike Davis there. Nothing's going to happen is now here's a handoff to McCaffrey nothing there again we've got a score here and try and do something to fix this game but that is not it throwing an interception to Dean not what I want to do there and uh yeah so now the Panthers defense back on the field needing to hold them to hopefully no more than three hopefully zero to be honest that would be the ideal situation is now here second and two Brady all day to throw but eventually pressure catches up to him and well he never really had anyone open that whole play now here's Brady again that is an amazing double sack by Kwan Short and well the man who's been having the elite year Brian Burns but the the Bucks going for it this is fourth down throwing and wow what a catch by Chris Godwin there and now here's Brady trying to hurry things up and that is a booming hit from Jeremiah Carter there as here are the Bucks trying to hurry up the tempo get things going quickly here's Brady it's chin coming around the outside and chin got there but Brady did get rid of that football now it's third down and two here's Brady looking throwing to a wide open Godwin who nearly got around but did step out of bounds here next play Brady looking Brady's gonna throw it again that's Ronald Jones He's actually going to lose a yard. And now, here's the second down and 10. Panthers trying to hold them to no more than three. Hopefully, zero. That could be done with an interception by Harrison Smith, who has probably just sealed the halftime score of 21 17. However, McCaffrey might have something to say about that. He gets around one guy. And well, that's going to send us to halftime of this divisional round, up by four. Can the Par Carolina Panthers hold on and extend this lead and try and win and move on to the conference championship game? As now, that is a nice tackle by Jeremiah Carter. And to be honest, for the most part, our defense has been playing quite well in this game. Remember, they've only allowed 10 points, as one of them was a pick six, and that one is going to be a wide open uh, receiver there for Brady and now here's Antonio Brown on a read option he's gonna swerve past Harrison Smith and take the lead back for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this is not what you love to see if you are a Carolina Panther fan as now the pressure is gonna be on Derek Carr and this Carolina Panther offense can he lead this team into a conference championship game this would be the farthest in his career he's gone as now McCaffrey there it's about nine. You're going to notice McCaffrey is up to 96 yards. However, Derek Carr just lost about 10 right there. Now, third and 11. Carr looking, looking, just running backwards to buy time. However, finds Ian Thomas wide open, who's just going to run it down to about the 47-yard line. Well, I guess that's one way you can do it. He's now Carr looking intercepted again. That is Levante David with the interception. And that could be big as this defense now has one of the most important drives of this game. And that is holding the Bucks to no more than three to keep this a one score game. As we have done that on three straight plays to send it to fourth down and two. However, the Bucks are going to go for it and they get it on fourth down and two. 
the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have converted as now here's more running with Ronald Jones as he's going to get down to about the 28 yard line and there's another run with Ronald Jones as he's actually going to lose to as now this is third down and five looking that's going to be thrown to Godwin however Shaq Thompson did touch him so he's going to be fourth and inches and they get it and they're all the way into the end zone Ronald Jones the rushing attack of Tampa Bay has been too much for this Carolina defense to handle. However, this game is not over quite yet. We just need to make sure that we don't have any more mistakes in this game and we can potentially come back as that's going to be a kick return down to about the 21-yard line. Here's Derek Carr. He's looking. He's going deep to DJ Moore. It's incomplete. I don't know how Winfield got that, but he did and saved a potential touchdown there as that now we're going to go underneath to Ian Thomas for about four yards. This is third down and six. Crucial third down. Carr throwing to DJ Moore getting the first down. Now they're going to run a little screen pass to Golden Tate. That's nothing there. And now here's Derek Carr looking and fumbles the football. That's Ndamukong Sue who is going to run it all the way back and has probably just sealed the game for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This game, we had it. We had it in our grasp and we just dropped it. We were up 14 nothing. We were up 21-17. We had so many chances, but turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. It's just not been our friend. And there's Carr speaking of turnovers. There's another one. And if you had any doubt that the game wasn't over, it certainly is now. And now the last chance we even have to do anything is a fourth and in inches here. And and Ronald Jones has converted. And that would end the game and end the Carolina Panthers season. Now I'm going to be showing you the stats here. We, we had more yards than them. But I want to highlight one thing, and that is the turnovers. We had four more turnovers and didn't put any points up in the second half. That is just disappointing. I mean, we had such a hot start to this game, but throwing five picks and then fumbling once, it just did not end the way we wanted. So this is actually going to bring up the next part of this video, which is the off season. Now I'm going to finish showing up these in-game stats, but we had a lot of moves in this off season that I wanted to go over, so I thought I'd just attach it onto this game since this will be the last game of the 2020 season. However, the 2021 season, we will be starting soon, and we will actually be playing the team that would eventually go on to win the Super Bowl, the New York Jets, week one, and the Jets would actually play those Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Anyway, here are our new additions. You're going to see Stephon Gilmore, Keenan Allen, and uh, a random D-tackle who's about 78 overall, Hunter Henry, Jakeesy Tart, Logan Thomas, Shelby Harris, and Mike Pouncey. All of these guys will be joining our Panthers. All the ones that don't say free agency are just through trades, which I'll be showing you what we traded here in a sec. But you're going to see Gilmore is just going to help our defense. Tart going to help our defense. And Shelby Harris, well, you're going to see why we signed Shelby Harris right about now. So now you're going to see the departures. That is Derek Brown, Gross Matos, two of our good D linemen, but however, we still have Brian Burns. So that is why we signed Shelby Harris, and the reason for Jakeesy Tart was just because Harrison Smith, I actually moved to linebacker now. So Jakeesy Tart will actually be playing safety. And you're going to see, we, so basically the Patriots trade was Rasul Douglas and a second round pick for Hunter Henry, who's about an 89 tight end. We signed Logan Thomas because we only had one tight end, which was Hunter Henry on the roster. So I just needed depth. And you're going to see the Chargers, what we lost there, basically with the logo under it. That's what we gave up on this slide. On the last slide, that's what we gained. And then there's one key free agent, and that was Golden Tate, who we lost, but it doesn't matter because he was hold. And yeah, so now we're going to move on to the next thing, which is actually, this is going to be the last episode on YouTube. Now, I've been getting a little busy lately, so I'm going to be moving these over onto my Twitch channel, which will be link in the description, and yeah, I'll have the name of it. So yeah, I'm going to be streaming them on my Twitch, and yeah, the, the link and whatever will be in the description. So if you want to keep up with the series... Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing it on. I just don't really have the time to edit these anymore. However, summer, starting about June, like mid-June, I will come back and do something. I'm not sure what yet, but we'll try something around then. And yeah, just really busy right now. And I will see you guys on the Twitch streams 
and yeah, have notifications on.